everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're sat in a really weird place in my room which is really badly lighted, um, but it's quite a gloomy day and my room is pretty badly lighted anyway. But yeah, today, as you've just seen the title, I'm gonna be testing out Audi Beauty products and using only Audi Beauty for the next 24 hours. I went to Audi the other day, picked up a few things. These are some uh, little sneak peeks of some of the products I'm gonna be using. But yeah, I've got some dupes. This is like an Audi, not an Audi, a Pixie Glow Tonic dupe, but this is the Audi dupe, not the, yeah. This is an Audi dupe of the Pixie Glow Tonic, and then I've also got this, the much spoken about in these type of videos. Um, I'm not speaking proper English today, but this is hyped up a lot in these Audi Beauty videos, and it's the Caviar Night Cream. But yeah, I've got them as well as lots of other products, which I'm going to try out today, test them all out. Um, yeah, you probably know what this video entails because you might have seen some on YouTube before. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd do my own one today um, and just test out Audi Beauty. Okay, so we're starting the video off in the bath, which feels like the weirdest thing i have got the key on though this is not an only fans um the products i've got here to try are the Lacura shave gel i have actually already used this before and um, i have the sensitive skin one and i'm not gonna lie every time i've used this i've found my legs are so itchy but i'll give it a go today it might have been a different product um but yeah if my legs are itchy it's definitely this is not good for sensitive skin and then I've also got this, which is the Lacura Pactive Extracts and Oils Kickstart Juicy Mango Shower Gel. This basically looks exactly like the, um, what is the brand called? Original Source, I think it is. This looks exactly like the Original Source Shower Gels. They had a mint one, um, can't think of the other ones, but I went with the mango. Let's give it a smell. It smells quite sweet and artificial, but it also smells really good. So yeah, I've got the shower gel and the shave gel to try. We'll start with the shower gel because that kind of seems to make the most sense. This really reminds me of something and I can't work out what it is. I mean, it looks like shower gel, feels like shower gel. I mean, I don't really know what I meant to say about it. It's just shower gel, really. Now that it's on, it's kind of smelling a little bit more like um, mango and pineapple squash, which I'm not complaining about. That actually smells incredible. I mean, it feels quite nice. It's kind of moisturising. It's not too thick, not too thin. Don't really know what else I'm meant to say about a shower gel. This feels like the weirdest thing to like review and discuss on my channel. Okay, now I've got a shower gel, not shower gel, shave gel. Um, like I said, I've used this before. It's from the men's section, but I use it anyway. It says it's for sensitive skin, alcohol free, and dermatologically tested, or however the hell you say that word. Skin really it that's just gone everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, it comes out blue, and then you kind of like rub it together, and it like lathers up and foams. I mean, there's not really much to say about it now. It is literally just a shaving gel. It helps see where I've shaved and it kind of makes it like smoother, I guess. The real test for me is whether this is going to be itchy afterwards or not. So I'll probably put a little edit in here as to whether this is really bad for my legs or not. I mean, my legs are pretty smooth. It's helped see where I need to shave um, and it's made my legs kind of shave pretty well, I guess. I'm going to carry on washing my body now because I've only done the bottom of my legs so far. Um, and yeah, I'm going to finish off in the bath and I think I'll next see you when I'm taking my makeup off. Okay, next I've got this. This is the Lacura Care and Repair Cocoa Glow Body Lotion. It says it's got 24 hour moisturisation, it's got pure cocoa butter in it and it restores dark, ugh, restores diet, I can't say it, Restore, restores dry skin for a natural glow. And it says on the back that it absorbs fast for a non-greasy feel, which is quite important to me because I don't like to have like moisturiser on my legs for ages. I like it to like absorb in quite quickly. I haven't actually smelled it yet. Okay, this literally smells pretty identical to the Vaseline one. It's slightly different. Um, it almost smells a bit more chocolatey than the Vaseline one, but it's quite nice. Okay. That's literally just tipped all over my bed and just like came out. Okay, that's not the best start. As the moisturizer goes, it feels really nice. Um, quite um, like liquidy, but I also quite like that it means it's, because it means it's easier to like spread it out. However, not sure how good that packaging is because it all just kind of dribbled out. I don't know maybe if I did something wrong, but I don't think I did. Now I'm just gonna get the rest off my bed. That looks disgusting um, for my other leg. It's really easy to like rub in and spread because it's nice and liquidy and I do feel like it is gonna absorb quite quickly. It also smells really nice on the skin. It's definitely not identical to the Vaseline one but you can kind of smell the cocoa butter in it. 
Oh, this has literally ruined my bed sheets. That's just gross. I think this was like 85p and this is a 400 milliliter bottle. So it's absolutely massive. Um, so really cheap for the price. And I feel like it's quite good. I mean, it might not be as deeply moisturizing and stuff as other moisturizers. So it might not kind of keep your legs hydrated for as long as others do. But I suppose you could just kind of apply it a little bit more often. But yeah, I actually really quite like it. I do need to actually get the rest of this off my bed though. Okay, it's been about probably less than five minutes and my legs have already like absorbed it I could easily put clothes on now without it kind of being tacky and sticky my bed has also absorbed it pretty well as well I can't actually tell where it fell I can just kind of smell it so it's not like the end of the world at least it hasn't stained my sheets but yeah I actually like this moisturizer so far I'm definitely going to use it like in the future um I feel like I would recommend it especially for the price I feel like it's pretty good okay we're back in the bathroom now because I'm in here to remove my makeup for that I'm going to be using this uh, it's the Lacura hot cloth cleanser with muslin cloth it gently cleanses and exfoliates to leave skin feeling smooth and soft it's basically a dupe for the Lizelle cleanse and polish so the package looks like this it's very similar to the Lizard cleanse and polish um, it says the same things it does on the box I can't really smell much to it like it doesn't really have a smell can't remember if the Lizard cleanse and polish does have a smell or not because I haven't used it for years so I can't remember but anyway this is what I'm going to use to take off my makeup I do normally use like Miss Lair cleanse and water but I didn't have any so I thought I'd go with this okay no it does have a bit of a scent and it does, yeah, I, now I've smelt this, I remember like what the Lizard Cleanse and Polish smells like and it basically smells like this. Feels so weird putting this directly on my face and makeup on because I haven't like taken makeup off like this in ages. It smells really nice and it feels really nice and I can already see that it is um, like removing my makeup. So, okay, this is what the cloth looks like beforehand. This is probably going to be disgusting to some people because um, this is literally going to go pretty orange. Okay, look, that's just a couple of wipes and you can already see my makeup coming off. But like I said, my makeup is quite dark today just so that it matches the rest of my body. It's coming off so easily. Like, I'm not even scrubbing or anything. I'm literally just wiping it across my face and it's all just coming off. Okay, so this is the cloth all done. I used a little bit on that side and then mainly that side. I mean, that does look absolutely disgusting, but it shows how much of my makeup that it's got off and shows how good it is. Also, with these little muslin cloths, you can just chuck them in the wash like you would with clothes and it washes all the makeup off. Um, but yeah, my skin feels pretty smooth. Also feels pretty, like, good, I guess. So yeah, this is actually so good, as you can tell um, by this grossness. It really does the job. And next I've got this as well, which is the Lacura Refreshing Face Wash Gel. I got this one. They had um, refreshing and moisturising, I think. But I got this one because I also have this, which is a simple one. Um, and as you can tell, this one has been in the shower, so the packaging has gone a little bit weird. But this is basically a copy of this. So yeah, as you can see, pretty similar packaging, exact same name. They're both called the Refreshing Face Wash. Obviously the same kind of colour scheme as well. They both say they're 100% soap free. Both say they're for all skin types. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can see any other similarities. I'm going to see if they've got similar ingredients as well, actually. Oh my God. Okay, the first two ingredients in these are the exact same. That one is the same. That one's slightly different. Okay, so the first four or five main ingredients are the same in both of these. Um, there are a few little differences, but for the most part, they are pretty similar. I'll wet the bottom part of my face. I'm not going to do the top just because it's going to make it harder with like my lashes and stuff because I'm not taking them off yet. It smells a bit like plastic, like when it's out, but that might just be because of like the packaging that it's been in. Okay, now I'm smelling it even more, like rubbing it together. It smells pretty gross. It just smells like, I don't really know, but it doesn't smell nice, but I suppose it's got no perfume in it, so. I mean, it feels like a face wash, not really much to tell until it's kind of washed off or until you've used it for like a long amount of time, because I feel like you can't really tell from one use whether it's like that good or not. I'm actually going to like Santa Claus in a minute, because I'm only doing this on the bottom part of my face, and that's where it's lathering up. My face feels pretty smooth. I don't know if that's a mix of like the cleanse and polish thing as well as that. Um, but yeah, my face feels really nice and soft and stuff afterwards. It says that it's a refreshing face wash. I don't really know what makes it like refreshing. I mean, my face does feel really clean from this. Um, I'm not really sure if it feels refreshed, but that's the face wash done and my face is now clean. Um, I'm going to carry on doing some skincare in a bit, which you'll see next. Okay, another dupe now. I'm quite excited about this one. This is one of Audi's kind of dupes that's quite hyped up. 
Like I remember seeing this on Twitter when it first came out and everyone was like, oh my God, they've done a Pixie like glow tonic dupe. So yeah, basically, if you don't know, this is a dupe for the Pixie glow tonic. It's called the Lacura Healthy Glow Exfoliating Toner. Um, it's got 5% glycolic acid in it and it's got aloe vera and ginseng as well. It's literally the exact same packaging um, as the Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, and it's basically meant to help give you like glowy skin this toner. It smells exactly like the liquid that you have in a pack of bubbles. You know if you just buy like a little pot of bubbles or something or get it in like a party bag when you're like seven. This smells the exact same as the liquid in that does. Okay, on the back it just says it helps remove dead skin cells, which reveals healthier looking and more radiant skin. So that's basically how um, it's kind of like a glow product. Pour it on like that, and then I'm just gonna rub it all over. You probably can't really see it doing much because it is kind of like a clear liquid, um, so. Not the most interesting thing to watch me apply but it has actually helped get off some more makeup that i obviously didn't get off with the um cleanse and polish which is a little bit embarrassing but still um it shows that it is helping to like clean my skin and make sure i have got everything off i don't know if it's the glycolic acid that is kind of like exfoliating my skin or something but i can feel my skin kind of doing something like i don't really know how to explain it but like i definitely can feel like the fact that I've put this toner on my skin. See, I'm guessing it's the acid that's kind of exfoliating and getting rid of my dead skin, but I can definitely feel like, especially on my nose here, like a kind of tingling sensation. I mean, I don't know if that's meant to happen or if I'm having some sort of allergic reaction, but. Okay, now lastly, I've got some skincare. I've got this, which I'm so excited to try. I've had this sitting on the side for like a week and I've been wanting to try it. Um, and it's the Lacura Caviar Illumination Night Cream. I didn't get the day cream, don't really know why, but I got this one. And this is meant to be a dupe for like, I think it's a 200 or 300 pound cream. I don't actually know what it's meant to be a dupe of. I'm gonna quickly Google it because I've heard people say it's a dupe, but I don't actually know what it's meant to be a copy of. Okay, so I think it's meant to be a dupe of the brand Le Prairie or something. Their Skin Caviar Luxe Cream is what it's called and it's £407 for 50 millilitres. This is, how many millilitres? Okay, this is 50 millilitres as well, so it's the same amount. This, I think, was maybe £7, 6 or something. This one, £407. What does it actually say? Okay, it's got caviar extract, snow algae extract and hyaluronic acid in it. Also on the side here it says, recommended age group, 40 to 60 plus minus 20 is over here and it's not in the um, age range so I like my skin to be like nice and glowy and stuff and it says it's an illumination cream so okay maybe we won't be trying it because I can't seem to open it wow okay it's quite fancy packaging for Audi it smells pretty simple like I don't know it smells kind of like a nice face cream that's what it looks like I really hope it doesn't fall out on my bed when I do that it looks quite nice and thick and then I've got this, which is the last product I'm going to try today. Again, Lacura. Um, it's the Expert Double Effect Eye Gel. Comes in a little red tub. Again, this is my mum's. Again, she swears by it because there's literally none of this left. Smells absolutely disgusting. But again, I think this is meant to be really good because, like I said, my mum uses it. I can't actually believe that some people will spend £407 on a cream that you only get 50 millilitres of. Like it's not as if you're getting a lot, so it must be doing absolute wonders for people's skin if it's doing that. It feels really nice and thick and moisturising, like it's a really nice consistency. Um, it spreads nice and easily. The smell is actually so nice, like it kind of reminds me of Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume, but not the original Daisy one, the one that's like pink. That to me is what this smells like. Like it smells really fresh and stuff and I absolutely love that perfume so that's an extra little bonus. Yeah, it just feels kind of thick and moisturising, good for a night cream because obviously you want it to be thick so that it kind of like hydrates your skin. Okay, and then lastly we've got this which I'm going to have to scrape a bit out because there's not much left. It's a bit like a jelly kind of consistency but it is also like a bit sticky, like a bit like honey. I don't know if this has got any particular aims of this eye gel or what or whether it's just like kind of moisturising because it doesn't actually say it on here but it feels kind of nice so I mean if my mum uses them and she is willing to spend a lot of money on um, other products then I kind of feel like they must be good. But yeah that is actually the last thing for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Um, I kind of want to try out some Primark um, beauty products and things like that so if you want to see that make sure you're subscribed. Um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at some point soon another one. Bye!